Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today, or this week rather, I am in Cornwall and today I'm in Lou. And it's freezing. It is absolutely freezing. It's probably not the best time to come to Cornwall. But it's the best time to escape the crowds. So, see you up there. I thought I'd come down this way and have an explore, but it doesn't really seem like anything's open. So, uh, let's see what we can find. See the beautiful sights of Lou. Love that. So I'm just walking through the high street in Lou. It's full of uh, tat shops, ice cream shops, fudge shops, all the good stuff. It's very, very cold. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get some gloves. I'm gonna head down to the beach, see what's down there. The cute little, the narrow streets. This old building, look at that. Huh? House. Love that. Smuggler's cot. Do you know what? I might pop in there for a cup of tea or a hot chocolate. Warm myself up a bit. Tom would love that. Such a big child. Right, so everything seems to be closed. This sign here. It literally says it everywhere. I've just tried to go into that pub, it's closed. All the little cute shops are <laughs> closed. This is a little bit of a disaster. And hopefully find something that's open and something interesting to do. So yeah, let's keep going. Just like completely, it must just completely shut down in the winter. Just like everywhere in Devon and Cornwall. What was I thinking? But I'm still here. It's nice to be somewhere new. I've not been here in about five years. So uh, I don't actually ever think I've been to the beach here. I think I just went to the town, so beach is ahead. Ooh. Actually a nice beach. Really white sand. There's little rocks over there. I wonder if there's a tidal pool. Not that I'm going to get in today. I did bring my swimwear, always prepared, but I don't know if I'm brave enough today. I'm just feeling really cold. I'm getting in every day though, just apart from today. Feeling a little bit lost, as in I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to do. This might be a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> Antiques, so. Oh, no, of course it's not. All right, so I am gonna leave Cornwall because like I just said, it's just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. It's just a bit quiet, nothing's open and it's it's freezing down here like i don't feel like i'm prepared to go for a massive coastal walk so i'm gonna head to plymouth and just have a little like coffee and some lunch just i've not been there in ages and it's on the way back to my destination where i'm gonna end up so yeah let's head to plymouth plymouth barbecue all right so i've made it to plymouth seems to be a little bit more life here a bit more going on very pretty down at the barbecue a lot more pubs and shops and things and I'm hoping things should be open. I mean it is a city so it should be yeah a bit more going on. Go and get some food and have a wander around the shops. Walk around the Barbican uh, before the sun goes down because I've wasted a lot of time today uh, trying to find somewhere that's worth going to. <laughs> so let's do it. Just having a little wander around before I get food. Starving. I've already got my eye on somewhere. So I'll just show you around. To any of my American subscribers, uh, I thought I would show you this. Thought you might appreciate it. Grab myself some like tapas or something quickly and then head back out. 
Yeah, we're going big drink. That was a really nice meal. I've had a wander around Plymouth and I am gonna head up the coast and see where else I end up. I'm actually looking at the map, probably gonna go to Totnes, have a wander around there. It's one of my favorite spots. So I've just come up to this bit. It's like a little vintage uh, antiques shop and museum. Do you know full German suit of plated armor? Oh, it's kind of creepy. Thing is, I find this like really interesting, but I also find it like a little bit creepy and a bit eerie. I always feel like there's energy attached to old things. Don't. That's creepy. It's so cool. JJ Bamba. Ah, so I actually really enjoyed that being in Plymouth. Um, but I had to dash back because I didn't put enough time on the car. But I am gonna head to Totnes now. Like I said, it's one of my favourite little towns in South Devon, and it is en route to my destination. So I'm going to head there. It should take like, I don't know, 45 minutes to get there. But I'm doing this with my hair because I'm going to change it because it's doing my head in. It's just like, I don't know. So I'm going to just put it in a little flat and change my shoes as well because the Converse are driving me mad. I'm all about comfort, you know, I'm all about comfort these days. But anyway, let's go to Totnes and make the most of today because it's been a little bit, just a little bit of a disaster so far. So yeah, I'll see you in Totnes. Just come over, I've just crossed the other side and parked over there. And I'm over here. <laughs> Just gives it a slightly different perspective. I cannot believe how, like, what a difference in the weather. And it really is so much warmer than it is, you know, like an hour down the road. It's really strange. But anyway, I'm definitely enjoying it. So I'm going to head into the town, which is just that way. Uh, I think I've taken you to a town before in a previous video. I can't remember. Um, I was going to say, it's not been a while since I've been to Totnes, but it actually is. I came here for Christmas, um, the Christmas market, which is brilliant, by the way. It's really, really good atmosphere. But yeah, let's not talk about Christmas. It's a new year. I haven't had coffee yet. That's why I'm really sketchy. So I did have Shandy when I was in Plymouth. And I'm being honest, it's made me feel a little bit groggy. I feel a bit, ugh. so I'm going to go and grab a coffee. From one of the nice coffee shops up here some really quirky ones we're gonna head up there now yeah look at the views oh no i've got a soggy foot i don't know why i changed into my ugg boots you know if i'm gonna do this kind of thing in the winter i need to just keep my hiking boots on or welly like converse and ugg boots just aren't practical oh they're wet it's really annoying yeah i'm feeling this a lot more than i was feeling Lou. i really wasn't feeling Lou. Uh, I know it's a really beautiful place, but I just, it was really cold down there, really grey, nothing was open, I don't know. I could have gone on like a coastal walk, but I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. And we're heading to the town, this guy here is having a proper little concert on his own. <laughs>
So I'm back from having my little wonder around Totnes. Sorry I didn't talk too much, it was like so quiet. Um, you could always hear a pin drop, like the road was closed, there was no cars going up and down. I just find it a little bit awkward talking to myself. Um, I'm, I'll get used to it, I just... Sometimes I do, it just depends what mood I'm in. Anyway, I had a really nice time walking around Totnes. I bought myself a few things. Nothing too exciting. I, I always, whenever I visit Totnes, spend a fortune and all the weird and wonderful alternative things. I love, you know, wellness and health stuff, all that jazz. But yeah, I didn't spend, I didn't go too mad. I just bought a couple of things. Yeah, so I got myself some sage, sage and palo santo. Just, you know, just to cleanse myself, cleanse the environment. I know it's a little bit wacky some people but you know I like doing that and it also on top of that I have some incense sticks some meditation and white odor which I guess is like new beginnings I don't know I just I just like it. it smells nice and it just makes me feel cleansed that's the idea isn't it uh, and then I got myself just like, things, like honey and food and stuff some food. I've just got this to snack on for now. Some mushroom jerky. I've never tried that in my life, but you know, the woman who works it is really nice. Some just gonna have a little snack on these. I'm really intrigued. Mushroom jerky. No, I don't eat meat, so I just suppose it's protein as well, so that's pretty cool. Mm. And this fella's waiting for a crumb. I don't think you're going to be into mushrooms, dude. <gasps> they look really weird. Look at that. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Forgot how chewy jerky is supposed to be. Wow. That's really good. That's actually incredible. Sorry, guys. I feel like I've been a little bit, a bit all over the place in this vlog. I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. I know where I'm going now. I think you're gonna like this bit. I think I'm gonna like this bit. So I've decided I'm gonna go to Berry Pomeroy Castle, which is like 10 minutes drive from here. And if you don't know, it is supposed to be, well, it has the title of the most haunted castle in the UK. And I'm about to go there on my own. All right, it's not dark, it's not night. And it is quite a beautiful, it is a beautiful place. And there's some beautiful walks around it but it is haunted i believe it is and there uh, you know i've heard a few interesting stories been there myself when i was a bit younger at night time <gasps> are you okay i've not been brave enough to do it since but it's you know it's sunny i think it might be quite peaceful but it's a beautiful part of history it's a beautiful building what the fuck? get away from my mushrooms so yeah i'm gonna go to berry pomeroy uh hopefully we don't break down because that is quite a common weird thing that happens there cars break down for no reason at all make what you will of it but we'll see <laughs> I am at Berry Pomeroy and I am at the entrance of the castle. We're walking down this narrow road. Uh, I just parked at the top. I think the car park's closed. Uh, it's only open on weekends. So yeah, I'm uh... <laughs> This is a bit weird. Like it's not weird, but because this place, I used to come here you know when I was younger like teenager and you know get spooked you know I know a few weird, weird stories it's quite you know a bit of a topic a lot of people have captured things I'm not here for that anyway I'm here to see the beauty of it I would say I am quite <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um it's just a walk, isn't it? It's fine. It's just like, 
a walk, but because I, you know, I know about this place being potentially haunted, I get on my head a little bit. I'm sure there's people down here. There is a cafe down here. I hope it's open. <laughs> there's like a creepy mannequin head in the window. I mean, this is like, this could be the start of a horror film and I feel like I say that on every vlog. Like, I need to stop thinking that because your thoughts can become reality. I'm a massive believer in manifestation and to be honest, I'm getting good vibe, good energy. This place is lovely. So from what I remember, this is the gate that back in the day I used to park up and, you know, intrude at night. Shh, everyone does it. Public way. Let's do it. Let's go down to the castle. I've not been here, like I say, in many, many years. I think even as an adult, we've driven down to that gate at like, you know, midnight and been way too scared to get out. But yeah, it's different in the daytime, isn't it? Um, I don't remember this. I don't know, I feel a bit... I don't know. I don't want to go through there. <laughs> I'm going to go back up this way. The public foot... I thought this was the public footpath. I don't know. I wish there was someone around. I'm not actually that keen. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. Where is it? Where's the castle? Am I taking the wrong turn? Wow. Peasants! 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 I'm a peasant. That's a pheasant. Oh, there's so much going on. Okay. Alright. I can see the castle. I'm not sure if you're able to see it on the camera. But yeah, this is quite out of my comfort zone. Even though it's really beautiful, I'm just... I get my head about stuff. <laughs> there it is. You can see through the trees. Um, I don't think the cafe's open, so I think it might just be me. And yeah, in the castle. All right, so I've made it down to the castle. It's uh, pretty incredible. Pretty quiet. Uh, I was hoping to go in and have a, um, you know, a tour. I wander around and show you, but it's closed. I guess it's open on the weekends. It is January. We know everything's shut in January. But yeah. I will show you what I can, which is just, uh, just out of here and then have a little peek inside at our camera. I'm not going to break it. Let's little peek in there. Ooh. was weird about a real like gust of wind stood there. I'm not even joking. Oh you're all gonna think I'm mad. Um yeah I don't know <laughs> it's beautiful it really is but I don't want to stay around here for too much longer. It just feels a little bit a bit quiet you know and I thought Lou was quiet. Yeah, just, it's incredible. Sorry guys, I'm not that brave, am I? Maybe I'll come down with Tom, someone soon, when it's open and we can have a, we can have a look inside. I know it is a beautiful place, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. 
but I came down here. I was sat in the van debating whether to come down. I know it's really silly because it's just a nice walk. But, <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't normally come down here on my own. No, I haven't been down here in years. And the sun is going down, so I'm going to head back to the van. But yeah, let's just appreciate Barry Pomeroy. I will be back when it's open to show you around and actually, you know, see what what's going on in there. Yeah, there's like the sun's just sort of gone down and it's gone a little bit gloomy. But yeah, we'll catch up about this in a minute when I'm back in the van. <gasps> Fucking hell! <sighs> it was a pheasant. Do you know what? I'll catch up with you in the van. <laughs> Right, I made it out of Barry Pomeroy alive and well. What a day it's been. It has been quite the adventure, but not really that adventurous. Although Barry Pomeroy was quite adventurous for me. I would never dream of going down there on my own. I know it's ridiculous. And I know people go down there all the time on their own. There's probably people watching this who regularly go on walks down there or whatever. I think, I don't know, everything was closed down there was no cars parked anywhere I, just, I didn't see anyone and it just felt a little bit creepy knowing that it's the most haunted castle in the UK and I don't know just being down there like, it just felt creepy and I just didn't want to stay too much longer I could have done a circular walk around the castle and everything like that I just didn't I don't know you're all gonna think I'm a little bit mad but I do believe in stuff like that do you believe in stuff like that I just think there's nothing wrong with being open to the possibility of the something more. And it is, you know, titled The Most Haunted Castle in the UK for good reason. You know, if you've never heard of it, Google it. There's some, some pretty weird, weird footage and images captured out there. I'm, you know, you never, you never know looking back at this. I hope not. I'm not into that. But funnily enough, I did buy myself some sage and Palo Santo and Totnes. I bought that before I even knew I was going to Barry Pomeroy, so I think I'm going to stage myself on the van. You're all going to think I'm cuckoo, and I probably am a little bit, but you know, I I drive. Look at the state of my van. I'm a little bit. So, do you know what? My hand, my arms are actually hurting from holding the camera. I'm so tired. It's been a long day. It's been a great day. It's still blue skies. I'm in a car park, and there's no one else. Yeah, so I'm gonna just make my food and head back home. I could just have dinner at home, but it's just nice to be outside and like outdoor living. That's obviously what I'm all about. So I'm gonna do that. I've got pre-made food that I had last. Uh, arm hurts. I've got food that's already made up. So I'm gonna heat that up and just chill here. And then, yeah, head back and hit the hay. I'm very tired. It's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let's get some dinner. You might have noticed the door. Yeah, it's still like half done. When we painted the van, which we uh, like spray painted this, but that didn't do anything. Oh, let's like, just spray paint that. But we realized it wasn't the right paint. And then we just got left. Why did we, why do I do this? I start things and never finish them. Not always, I do sometimes. And it's so cold, I can't be bothered to work on the van outside in the cold. But I will, I will do it. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a mishmash, a bit all over the place, but that is all part of the fun. You just don't know where you're gonna end. Wow. Yeah, that sums it up. Sorry about that, it's been a long day. Yeah, it, that's, you know, what having a van and everything is about for me. I just like being spontaneous, like having last minute trips, not knowing where you're going to end up. It's all part of the fun. What do you think? Do you guys like being spontaneous? Do you like it being, like being organised? I will say I'm probably a bit of both. I do like organisation, but being spontaneous, I think, always turn out to be the best ones. And I've had a pretty good day. Uh, can't complain. Everyone's probably cooked now. That's really quick. Mmm, mm, that's so good. 
I'm really looking forward to the spring, although I'm actually not minding these colder months, but it's always just, sorry, <laughs> it's always just nicer to have longer days and feel like you're in a race against time this time of year, like what time's the sun setting, like, I know. I know, I know, I'm a little bit, I call my palette Santo. it's weird, I didn't buy this I was looking to beg for it. I just, I need, I needed it anyway. Just because I like to do this kind of thing, but I feel like this is pretty appropriate. So <laughs> it's just what I do. I'm just into that kind of thing. Whether it's real or not, it just makes me feel good. It makes me happy. Do what makes you happy, regardless what people think. Whether people think you're mad, a lot of people do, or my family just think I'm a little bit weird. that energy <laughs> oh that smells amazing I've really enjoyed today I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me sorry it's been a little bit all over the place really unorganized didn't really know what I was doing I didn't have a proper plan but I thought I would just take you with me anyway being as I was down there and I'm ready to go to sleep anyway food so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much I really really appreciate it and have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you next week.